Hey guys, thanks for joining me on this edition of the Guru Brew. If you're like me, you've wanted to play around with hosting your own web pages on an extra computer that you might have at your house. The problem with doing this is a lot of times internet service providers, unless you give them some more money, is they block the ports that you need to run the web server, such as port 80. Well, once you've hit this roadblock, it's over and you can't do it. Well, on this edition of the Guru Brew, I'm going to teach you how to forward around port 80 so that you can use available ports that still are open on your uh, IP and go ahead and host that web page. And then the end user that visits your web pages will seamlessly be able to uh, visit your web pages and they won't know that you're on port 80. Stay tuned on this edition of Guru Brew. Thanks for watching. Let's get started. Okay, we're at my computer and there's about three to four steps to um, doing this. The first thing you want to do is decide on what port that you would like to go ahead and use as your web server port. Being this exercise is that you're um, trying to get around using port 80 because it's blocked, we need another alternative. Some of the most common ports that others have used are 8080. 8081, 8082, and the first thing that you're going to want to do is open those ports on your router and make sure that they are available for you to use. On my computer, if you go ahead and you open up your um, web page to your router, I'm going to do that now. Now keep in mind that my router settings are going to be different from your router settings, and methods to getting around are going to be a little bit different. So just keep this in mind, you might have to consult your uh, router manual to figure out how to get into it. Uh, I'm putting my password into my router. And what you're going to want to find is the forwarding section. And here's my forwarding section here. And if you noticed, I've put in 8087 to 8087. I want to use protocol TCP and UDP both active and I've got them set for machine number 50. Now the way that um, you know what machine number to put in here can simply be achieved by going to start. Now this would be on the web server itself. You'd go to start, network places, uh, view network connection and then on your local area network inside your network connections you can right click and you can go to status and this works on uh, Windows 7 too and then you can go to the support tab and the support tab will tell you exactly what IP address you're using this one says I'm using 10 but this isn't the web server I'm just demonstrating how to find out what your IP is now, what you're going to want to do, certainly, if you're using this as a full-time web server, is to make sure that it remains, let's say you want it to, uh, this web server, you want it to remain at number 50. The way that you can do that is you can hit the General tab, go to Properties, go into Internet Protocol, and then click on Properties and you can put in your IP address manually um, so I would go 192, 168, 1 and 50 and then my sub mask is 255, 255, 2550 and my gateway would be whatever your router would be, mine's 1.1 and then your DNS and then this, if by setting this up in this manner would you would get the same IP address, local IP address every time as, as number 50 as opposed to getting an IP address manually therefore when you turn the machine off and on you're not going to get a different IP number every time this will always assign it as number 50 so with that in mind I'm, I'm using uh, number 50 so I popped it in right there and what this has done in the forwarding section of my router it's um, opened up 
uh, port 8087 to machine number 50 which is the web server so it's not blocking anymore and you want to make sure you do this and then there's uh, to check it you can go to a uh, Google uh, page and you can type in um, online port checker and let's just see if we can find an online port scanner here's one at uh, t1shopper.com we'll, we'll try it out I think I've been here before it's nice that it put your IP address up in here and the port that we're going to want to check is 8087 I'm just going to go ahead and scan that port and if you notice it says it's it's responding on 8087 so I have opened up that port just to show you what would happen if it wasn't open um, my port 80 is blocked in this location so if I put in port 80 here and I scan it it's gonna come back and tell me that isn't responding so this is a surefire way to make sure that you are um, your port is open and that you've unblocked it from the router settings that's the first step after you're sure that the port is open your selected port is open and that you've assigned an internal IP address to your web server you're able to continue with the next step the next step is to open Apache um, that is found on your web server and to change the configuration files so that you're using the new pound uh, port on my computer I am going to open up my web server I'm using WAMP web server uh, any uh, distribution of um, Apache will be the same uh, it just might be found in a slightly different area what you're trying to do is get to the configuration files of that web server so inside my Apache folder there's a CONF file folder and then inside that is a HTTPD config file and as you scroll through here you'll find a listen statement and normally that would be set to listen 80 uh, we're going to go ahead and change that listen statement so that it's reflecting on the new uh, port that you're going to be using. Uh, again, in my case, it's 8087. So I've typed 8087 in here, and then you're going to go ahead and save that. Now make sure that you do at this point after you've saved it is to restart your web server because the new port changes won't take effect until after you've restarted the server. Um, so the last um, bit of the puzzle is to go ahead and open up the um, service that host that you purchased your domain from in my circumstance I purchased my domain name from GoDaddy log into your account Now, even if you're not using GoDaddy, you're still looking for the same terminology. I'm going to launch my domain manager. I'm selecting the domain that I wish to use with this web server. And then once you get to this domain information, you're looking for the forwarding settings, which are located right here. I'm going to click on Manage and um, for this section you need to tell it your IP um, and if you do not know your IP you can go to a Google page and type in what is my IP and Google will come back with your number you can just highlight that and copy it go back to the um, hosting forwarding settings type in HTTP colon back or forward slash forward slash your IP number and then a colon 
and then your new port number and mine is going to be 8087 so I have HTTP colon forward slash forward slash my IP number colon and then 8087 and click OK to take that I'm not going to click that because I've already done it now this may take up to one hour or two to um, propagate through the system once it's set up you should be able to go to a web uh, browsing um, prompt and type in your domain name and you should get your test page now make sure that you have a test page index PHP or HTML page ready and um, in my case I've got this PHP info uh, page ready to go and there it is I'm uh, officially um, seeing my pages hosted from the little web um, server over in the corner so I've done it I hope this makes sense to you give it a try if you have any questions about this leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you um, I hope I've made it clear enough on how to handle this it's not hard to do um, to recap again what you want to do is find an available port that you can host on. 8080 is common, 8081, 82, 83, that sort of thing. Open the port on the router and then go in and make sure that the, po the port is being seen um, by using Google and checking for open ports. Once you've done that, you want to log into your Apache. You want to go to the configuration files and you want to change your HTTP uh, configuration files to reflect the listen statement in the new port setting. So mine would have been listen 8087. After that, you want to log into your domain hosting uh, people that you purchased your domain from. You want to set the forwarding to the HTTP. Uh, colon forward slash forward slash your IP number which you can get off Google by typing what's my IP followed by a colon and then the port number last step is to check your work and that's done by just going to a web page and, and uh, typing in your domain name keep in mind that after you've changed the listen statement and the Apache server config files that you do restart the server so that it has a, a chance to uh, gain the new the new number otherwise it won't work I hope you enjoyed this video uh, again if you have questions leave them in the comments below thanks for watching have a good day and I'll see you tomorrow hey guys this is Steve thanks for watching hey don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment see ya